Hi everyone, it's Natalie Eterno with Annual Canada. I'm in my kitchen and I wanted to answer a few questions from people that have the kitchen zone and just sort of needed a tip or a follow-up on these amazing fibers. This is the all-purpose um, fiber and it is the fiber that I use to pick up and grab and trap everything that's on my surfaces as well as on my dishes and so on. When I bake, um, last night I baked a lot, what I do is I usually use this front side to pick up any of the loose and dry uh, foods and stuff that are on the surfaces as well as washing of the countertops because I have black granite and it really shows everything. So I use this on there to pick all that stuff up. When I'm baking though, there's a back, version, back side to this fiber. What's amazing about it is that it actually has a little bit of a harder backside. So when you're baking and you need to really pull something off that's a little bit harder or dried out into a dish or something, um, that's what I do. So if let's say in here I had some dough or chocolate that was left over in there, I actually would use this side and then come back to this side and then wipe up anything that's in there. It's really amazing to wash and clean every single piece of dish that you have. So this is what I do with the all-purpose fiber. But now that I've explained this and how you use to clean up, the question is the most important question afterwards because I know that it's picked up everything. I know that it's grabbed everything and the Enio fiber picks up, grabs and traps all of this in here. And what you need to do moving forward from here to the next meal that you have to prepare or, or whatever you've got um, going on for the rest of the day is you need to either in your sink, put some hot water in your sink, soak this with a bit of washing up orange blossom soap. The reason why is because it keeps this fresh. Whether you have other family members in your home or it's just yourself, just get into a habit of making sure that at the end of every meal that you're preparing um, or cleaning up of the kitchen that you will rinse this out with some hot water in a wash up soap. So I'm going to show you last night I soaked my two all purpose fibers because I use both. I cooked probably from 4 p.m. till 11 p.m. I made a lot of desserts. Um, I had some birthday gifts or prep cakes to make. So I made a whole bunch and this is the water and that's the residue. I don't know if you can see the back side there, but this is how much dirt was in my fibers. Yes, I rinsed them off in between while I was baking and I had so much flour on the counter. Um, plus I made dinner at the same time. So I had both of these going. What I love about these, not only are they great for picking up and stuff. So let's say you're baking a cake and you're using a mixer and you've got your all-purpose fiber. Do you know that it actually makes a really great um, surface to put the bowl on top of so that when you're mixing, the bowl actually doesn't slide as much all over. So when you're using the mixer with kids and stuff, seriously, this is amazing. So you can put it on the bottom side and it really does help to hold it in place. But I also use these fibers when I'm putting things in the sink that I need to wash off, like a cast iron. I have a black sink and I don't want to scratch or damage my sink. And also let's say um, you've got other things in the, in the sink. What I do is I actually put this at the bottom of the, uh, the sink. Then I take my cast iron pot or ceramic pot that I need to wash out. And again, when I'm washing it with my other all-purpose fiber, because the zone comes with two, I can put my fiber inside of my dish and hold it and clean it without worrying about scratching the bottom. So that's a big tip as well. I do wash all of my dishes by hand. Um, so I have all of my cutlery, I've got all my plates, my cups, my pots, my pans. Very seldom do I use the dishwasher. My family does use it, so it does get gone, gone through the wash. But I notice when I take out my dishes from my dishwasher, sometimes there might be some watermarks. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but the watermarks on here 
are just from the rinsing in of the water in the dishwasher. What I love to use is my glass and cutlery fiber, which is this one here. It's very, very shiny and silky. It's amazing on wine glasses, on cutlery and so on. But what's really handy about this fiber is that you can wet a little spot on your fiber. It, it's used dry, but you can wet a part of it as well to use it uh, a little bit damp. So what you can do is you take your fiber with it a little bit wet and you want to get rid of all that little, the water residue and stuff from your dishwasher. I do use the annual dishwashing liquid and it's amazing, right? My dishwasher smells great, smells clean and fresh, but if I'm not putting it through the whole drying, um, fi uh, drying um, cycle at the end, then I may get some watermarks. So all I do is this, so see that? I can see myself backwards in there. So this is what I do with the glass and cutlery fiber. Next, we have the kitchen, ultra, sorry, the kitchen um, annual fill. Annual fill is what you use at the end to dry off. So it isn't the tea towel, which is this one, which I have on my oven. So this is the tea towel. This dries and you can see on here that you can see plates and pots and pans. It's super, super, super thick. It will dry all of your dishes by removing all the water off of them once you've washed your dishes. So this is a tea towel. This is not a tea towel, but it can be used to dry your surfaces. Whether you can do it on your dishwasher, your stainless steel appliances, your glass top, if you have a glass top, um, the front of your oven, it's amazing. So this will dry off your surfaces. So last night my counter was full of residue and food and all that. I picked up everything off of my counter using this. Backside, front side, both of them. Once I've washed off the surface and all the food is gone and taken away, I will rinse this with hot water. But I then dry behind with this. And you can see how this fiber, I folded it into um, sections like this. And the reason for that is I have a large counter. So I have a baking section here. I have a prep section here. I've got my island, but I also have another section there with my stove. So what I do is I fold my fiber, wash each section as I go, because like I said, I have three tiers. So what I do is, um, actually four if you count the top of my bar, but what I do is I fold this in, in sections like this so that it's about the size of my hand. And the reason for that is when I'm drying my surface, so I'll give you an example. So let's say I'm grabbing, drying my island. I'll be able to put my hand flat like this and dry off my counter so that I'm taking all that water away. And the reason why it's folded is so that once this section here is wet, all you need to do is flip the next side and move on to the next section where you can then dry another surface. And again, this is not for dishes, it's for your surfaces. You can use it on your dishes, but if you have the dish towel, the tea towel, then this is what you would use on your dishes. Why is there a difference between them all? This is a shorter, flatter fiber as opposed to this that has a little bit of a honeycomb effect on there. So this will go perfectly great on glass, stainless steel, any flat surface that you need to remove water. Soon as you remove all that water, then you know that there's zero left on your surface and you will get that beautiful shine. I'll show you afterwards how that looks, but I think actually you can see, see all of that there. So that whole section here, these are all my containers that I used yesterday when I made my meals. I was able to wash off everything with this all purpose. Some of the pieces I actually used my scrubby and the scrubby has a back um, scratchy side. The reason why I use this is because this will really help to trap oils. But if you're using flowers, and um, things like that, then you're going to want to use this one. So this is what you use to clean cast iron, metals, and things like that, that you need to um, uh, scrape off. Hi, Jordan. Uh -huh. <laughs> so all you need to do is that. <laughs> you're in my video. <laughs> so this is what I use for that, and I also can use it on... Um, when 
when I made my cheesecake, I used this, which was a glass, um, what is that, corning ware or whatever that is. So all I did is take this on the edges and really was able to scrape up and remove all of that. So this is what that is and that's how this works. So I used this, this, and my drying fiber last night for cleaning off all of those um, pots and pans and stuff from all the dishes that I made. <laughs> And um, the dishes, you're going to use this, but glass and cutlery, you're going to pick up anything that's a wine glass, beer glass, and cutlery. But these are the fibers that you need for cleaning up your kitchen when you're cooking and baking for all of your surfaces. So there we go. Just thought I'd come and show you. Just remember, hot water, rinse with some washing up soap, put it into a container or put it into a metal dish like this. Soak it overnight if you feel that you need to soak it overnight, especially if you prepare chicken and fish during the day and you're worried or someone didn't clean it out or rinse it out because it's, the key is the hot water. So if you're not going to do that and you think that might be something trapped in here, hot water, wash up soap, soak it overnight. This was what I did when I soaked overnight and all that dirt is out of there. So then I'm going to rinse this off.